Hello and welcome to Morningstar. I'm Emma Wall and I'm joined today by Andrew Paisley, manager of the Standard Life European Smaller Companies Fund. Hello, Andrew. Hi. So what's your first stock pick today? So the, the first stock pick I have today is uh, a German company called Nemetschek. It's the European market leader in the provision of uh, 3D, 4D and 5D software to the uh, architectural and construction markets. It's a, a classic German Mittelstand business set up by Professor Nemitz Czech in the, the 1950s. He is still a big shareholder in the business and is involved in the management and the supervisory board. Now this is a business which has a long growth trajectory in front, front of it, we believe. The construction industry in particular has been quite late to adopt uh, technology. And, you know, we, we've all seen sort of um, big construction pro projects overrunning uh, with fairly disastrous consequences for the contractor. Now, what this software does is to reduce that risk, uh, both in terms of 3D being able to visualise the building, 4D in terms of the actual timeline of construction of the business, and now 5D, which also takes into account price and cost. Collectively, this is called building uh, information management. Uh, it's now being mandated by the EU and all public sector tenders. But on top of that, there's strong growth coming through from the private sector who clearly see the, the benefits from uh, managing contract risk. As I say, the European market leader now branching out into North America, strong growth prospects there. We believe the market is under, uh, underestimating the growth potential of this business. It's a company we've held for a couple of years, but we believe we'll be able to hold it for, for many years to, to come. So high quality business with good, good growth and strong momentum. And what's the second stock pick? So the, the second stock pick, a bit closer to home, is uh, a company that we own in the, the UK, the European and the Global Small Cap Fund, uh, Fever Tree Drinks, which is a manufacturer of premium tonic water for the premium gin market. Again, set up by its two founders who are still involved in managing the business. They still have a big shareholding in the, the business, so clearly aligned to us as external shareholders. This business has seen very strong earnings momentum. The two analysts, when it first floated, quite conservative forecasts, and it was quite clear to us that they were likely to, to do much better than was expected by the, the consensus. That's what we've seen, quite dramatic upgrades, and the share price has performed uh, accordingly. Now, we believe the consensus is still too conservative, looking a couple of years out, given the growth prospects of the, the business, both in terms of geographic expansion, but also product expansion. So moving away from purely the gin market into other product categories, particularly addressing the dark spirits market, which is actually six times bigger than the, the gin market. So premium cola, premium uh, ginger beer and ginger ale, and none of that is in analysts forecasts. So, you know, we expect again to be holding this business for, for the long term. Uh, high, very high quality, excellent growth and very strong momentum from this uh, business. Do you think Fever Tree is, is a prime M&A target? Because, of course, you have in this soft drink space some ginormous US companies such yes, as yeah. Pepsi-Cola and Coca-Cola. Surely, as we've seen with other brands, it gets to a point where suddenly they think, I'd like a piece of that. I think absolutely that, that that's correct. It's not part of the investment case. However, clearly this is a very attractive business with great growth dynamics and, and a very strong brand. And, you know, it wouldn't surprise us if at some point that, you know, one of these multinational brands, uh, you know, buys Fever Tree to, to complement their stable of, uh, of brands, particularly targeting the premium end of the, of the market. And what's your third and final stock pick? The third um, stock pick, again, a completely different uh, company, and that reflects uh, very much the eclectic bottom-up process that we run, is a Norwegian company called Borregard. Now, this business is um, a manufacturer of a, uh, a chemical, which is a byproduct from the, the wood pulping process called lignin. It is an environmentally friendly product, which is used in hundreds of different applications. Now, mainly as a binding agent in areas such as concrete, in agriculture, uh, but also in car batteries. And what we're seeing is a, a structural growth trend here as this environmentally product is displacing oil-based equivalents, which are really quite nasty 
chemicals. Our non-consensus view is around uh, an increase in capacity, which we believe will result in significant earnings growth over the next three years, which the market is not factoring in at the moment. And effectively, as much of this product that they can produce, they can, they can sell. So a very long-term structural growth driver here. Again, a high-quality company, margins of over 20% and good earnings momentum, not well covered by the sell side at all. Andrew, thank you very much. Thank you. This is Emma Wall for Morningstar. Thank you for watching.